Hey guys, Eli here, and on today's video, I wanna go over my $18,000 in gold and silver portfolio and my $56,000 stocks portfolio. And we're starting now. Guys, if this is your first time watching, please consider hitting that subscribe button, also hitting that notification icon so you guys get future notifications of my future videos. And also leave a thumbs up, it really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. And also comment something down in the comments below. And if you guys wanna help support the Urban Lifestyle channel even more, make sure you guys check out the pinned comments down there in the comments. So I'm recording this video on a Saturday night. Well, Sunday morning, around three o'clock in the morning. Wow, I don't get no sleep. But let's see how the markets did within the past week. So, so far right now, gold prices are at $1,838.10. And as far as silver, silver price is at $24.16. Platinum is at $1,051. Wow, I mean, platinum really took off. Last time I saw it, it was like at 900, maybe 800. I even saw it low as 700. Hey man, I think a lot of people's really sleeping on platinum. But palladium price is at $2,213 to be exact. Now, if we take a look at the stock market, we can see that the S&P 500 is at 3,699 points. The Dow Jones is at 30,218 points, which is another milestone for you know Dow Jones. So Dow Jones is really pumping up there. And the NASDAQ is at 12,464 points. So it looks like past week, I mean, to be honest with you, everybody's saying, hey, after the election, the market's gonna tank. And it just goes to show that you really can't time the market. Whatever you expect the markets to do is just gonna do the opposite most of the times. Now, before I dive into my portfolio, this is something I like to do each and every Monday for you guys when you guys are watching this. I know I said it was, you know, Sunday morning, but still. I like to release these investment videos each and every Monday so you guys can take a look at the progress of my portfolios. Now, I'm not gonna talk about how much silver I own, I'm not gonna talk about how much gold I own, and I'm not gonna show you guys all the stocks that I actually own. Cause the video's not about that, it's more about progress and mindset. Now, for all the Urban Lifestyle members that are watching this video, I actually created a video that goes into depth as far as how much silver I own, how much gold I own, how, uh, what stock I'm buying, and, they, and I go into a breakdown on my mindset on each position that I currently own. Now, all tiers of membership actually grant you access to my investment videos. And it's already up, so you can go ahead and watch that now. Now, this is the sixth time that I actually did a portfolio video. So I wanted to show you guys a screenshot that I actually took. You guys can see from week one, and I did not start six weeks ago, okay? I'm just showing you guys from when I actually started so you guys can see the progression. You can actually see on this uh, screenshot right here, the first week, I had about $34,000 in there. The next week, it went up to $36,000. And the week after that, $38,000. And the week after that, on week four, it was about $40,000. And week five, which was last week, it was around forty-eight dollars to $49,000. Now, Thursday, when I did a screenshot, it was actually over $54,000. And now, currently, right now, well, by the time you're watching this, it's probably up or down, who knows. But at the time of this recording, is actually at $56,000. And for me, I'm really a little bit pissed because I really wanted the stock market to fall down so I could build a little bit more of a position in some of the shares that I actually own as far as stocks. But hey, what can I say? If the positions that I decide to hold are going up, hey, I gotta take it, I gotta take it and consider it as a win. Now, if we take a look at the positions I own, you can see all the stocks that I currently own, and it's about nine positions. Now, I do want to downsize that a little bit because I felt like uh, with the amount of money that I do have in there, I'm a little bit over diversified, and I just want to downsize it and take the profits from some of the companies that I really don't see that much more growth in them and put them into companies that I currently do have and build up more of a position within those companies itself. Like if you look at stock number eight, you can actually see that stock right now is at $31.44. I actually had about at one point around four to 500 shares of that stock. And you can see it even shows right here, like the, the amount of money that I, I bought the shares was $12.24. It technically more than doubled from when I first started buying it. So I did take my profits and the rest of the shares. I'm currently just holding to see if it go to 35 and then I'll just eliminate that position altogether. Now, stock number six is a position that I just added to my position. And the reason I'm putting it, and I'm not saying I'm going to keep my money in there for a while. It's just the dividends that it pays. And I do believe in my personal opinion that it is one of the safest stock in the stock market right now. Like, I'd rather just have my money in there than just putting it into a bank. But I did add this one, and I do plan on adding more in there. I'd rather just keep it into that specific stock right there rather than just keep the money into a bank. So it, it's sort of like me just holding my cash 
cash in, in a place where I can get either dividends and it grow within the next couple of years. But if I do find a stock that I do believe that has a great earning potential within the next couple of years, I'll actually just withdraw the money from that stock and just pour it into the other one. But you guys can see so far, stock number one is actually, a, this week it actually went over 100%, which means the amount of money that I put in there actually doubled. If you look at the cost basis, it's actually, I put about 5,500 in there. And right now the position is actually worth over $11,000. And another company that I'm almost at 300% gains on that is stock number five. And you can actually see that this stock right here, I actually bought it just a little bit under $2,000. I only put a little bit like it's a real speculative play when I actually made it. And I was like, uh, I'm only comfortable with just putting about $2,000 in there. And you guys can see right now it's worth $6,000, close to $7,000 on that one. And my next 100% stock is actually stock number eight. And that's actually the stock that I'm actually downsizing right now. And if it hits the desired price, I'm actually gonna get rid of that stock altogether because I don't see, I already got a double from it and I don't actually think that it's gonna double within the next three to five years. But that's pretty much it as far as my stock portfolio. If we take a look at my gold and silver, all of my gold and silver combined actually comes up to $18,557.95. Now, I did take advantage of the dip and I'm still gonna be buying silver. It doesn't matter at what price it's gonna be because I wanna grow my wealth and I see that as um, as far as businesses, businesses that I'm running and as far as the stock market, that's a great way for me to grow my wealth. But at the same time, I wanna be able to preserve the wealth that I'm actually growing as well. So when I'm looking at gold and silver, I'm seeing it as an insurance policy for myself that I can actually draw from if I ever need it in case of emergency, which I'll do my best not to get into a financial emergency. But if I do, it's there. So I don't see myself ever not buying gold and silver. I'll always be buying in some way, shape or form. It's just like if it's insurance, I'm always gonna have to get life insurance. I'm always gonna need car insurance regardless. But that's just money I'm just giving away in hopes of if anything ever happens, I'm covered. It's the same way I link it gold and silver, but I can always withdraw that money, but I won't. So I'm always gonna be adding on to gold and silver no matter what the price is. I'm always gonna be buying it. I may not be buying as much as I would if the prices were lower, but in some way, shape or form, I'm always going to be buying. But that's pretty much all I wanted to share. If you guys found value in this, please make sure you guys hit the thumbs up. If it's your first time here, make sure you guys subscribe and hit the notification icon so you guys get future notifications of my future videos. And if you guys want an entire breakdown of all the stocks I have, make sure you guys join the Urban Lifestyle YouTube membership. There are many perks to actually take advantage of. And if you guys are interested, make sure you guys check down the links in the description below. But that's pretty much it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day.